Welcome to my class on how to stern squirt. I love stern squirting. Stern squirting is super fun and it helps us to develop edge control, core engagement, and it's just super fun. So what I see most of the time is that folks assume that in order to stern squirt, you need to lean way back to get your tail under, okay? But when you lean way back, you can't edge. Try it. Next time you're in your boat, lean way back and then try and really edge your boat. You'll notice that you don't have the range of motion when you're leaning back. You don't, you can't lift your hips. So stern squirting is not about leaning back. It's actually about sitting, staying sitting up straight, rotating, and yes, you do, as you rotate, well, let me step back. It's about dropping the upstream edge, and as you drop the upstream edge and rotate, yes, you do send a little bit of weight down through that um, dropped edge, down through your butt, okay? rotate and then plant that paddle really deeply okay so it's the uh, the key what makes it challenging is you have to be able to have this lifted and be rotated and this is can or can feel like a precarious uh position right if you if you're like this and you just stay like this you're just gonna flop over that's where the paddle comes in Right, so you're rotated looking back at your stern. You've got to drop that paddle in because that's what's going to keep you from flipping over. That's your brace, that's your leverage to then, um, uh, I, I call it like dipping a chip in salsa, right? Or, or um, gosh, my words right now. Dropping that edge and it's like rolling the hip under you. So you don't just lean back, have an edge down and hope for the best, right? It's edge down, rotate, plant your paddle, use that leverage to then twist your hips underneath you like you're dipping a chip through salsa and that's gonna get you up in your stern squirt. Okay, so let's watch some video clips where we can see this in action and I'll break it down for you. Remember that edge control and core engagement are the foundation. So anytime you can build on that with exercises to feel strong on your edge, right? And to hold yourself up with your core, draw everything in, that's what's gonna really help your paddling. And if you've watched my other video classes, then you know that goes through the boof, it goes through um, effective paddling, paddling strokes, moving your boat, it goes through surfing, it goes through everything, right? So that core engagement, posture, drawing, being able to draw everything in and not relying on your paddle for balance. That's what's gonna really make a difference and also getting used to, and this is for surfing as well, having an awareness of being able to edge your boat and be rotated towards that edge that's lifted and be able to balance there. So let's get to it with some video clips. So I'm approaching the eddy line just like I would a ferry, except I'm letting my bow drop a little more as I drop my upstream edge. So here I am, I twist downstream while my upstream edge is dropped and my paddle is in the water immediately and I use that paddle deep in the water. I'm pushing away and then up, and that's allowing me to swivel my hips underneath me. And then I keep my paddle in the water and turn it into a bow draw, actually, to help me bring my boat around. Here I am coming into an eddy, which is my favorite way to stern squirt. So it's the same as angle as doing an eddy turn, except, I start to drop my downstream edge and here's my big rotation, right? Huge rotation to the side, plant my paddle deep, push out and up to get my, and swivel my hips underneath me. I have to brace with my other paddle, 
right? And then turn it into a bow draw to bring my boat around. And here comes my husband Andrew into the eddy to do a stern squirt. So dropping that downstream edge, big rotation. He keeps his top hand higher than I do, but his paddle is deep in the water. And look at that rotation, swiveling his hips underneath. And notice he's always rotated the whole time as he spins that boat around. So let's watch the, this clip in real time. So things to remember about effective stern squirting is posture and core engagement, rotation, edge control, getting that paddle deep in the water and using it as leverage to then swivel your hips under you, right? Not using your paddle necessarily as a balance point and not leaning back and hoping for the best, right? So again, core, rotation, edge control, and using that paddle to swivel your hips under you. So go out there and have fun, enjoy, get recklessly vertical, and I wanna hear how it goes for you. So please comment, email me with your insights or questions, and I look forward to hearing from you.